Paz Good y'all Red Sosa Back in a building With another Banger Now first things first Before we go ahead and get started I just want to say thank you God For another day and another opportunity And as y'all can see From the looks of the title and the screen Today I'm going to be showing y'all How to create the first ever unique 7-3 stretch 5 build on nba 2k23 next gen now this is also going to be applicable to current as well as past gen but with this build we're going to be able to get an 80 plus ball handle and some of the best 99 plus stats so if it's your first time coming through be sure to hit that sub button if you're new Turn on post notifications, I'm uploading every single day, and y'all definitely don't want to miss the content that I got in store, but be sure to smash that like button, and let's go ahead and get started with the making of this build. So, in order to make this stretch 5, we have to put it under the center position. When it comes down to lefty or righty, I'm going to go with left, and then now, when it comes down to the actual body settings. Most of these are going to be based off of my personal preference, but I want to be able to create a 7-3 build this year that's going to be able to dribble. So, go with the height of 7-3 like I just said. Wait. In order to be able to get the maximum speed, I would go with 230. And then for the wingspan, in order to get that 80 plus ball handle, go with the wingspan of 73. Now for the body shape, in order to be like Bobo or Yao Ming, I would go with compact or even solid. But if you do decide to change it, that's perfectly fine. Now the only thing that I'm going to go ahead and say right here is that when it comes down to the breakdown of these attributes, be sure that you follow along exactly with every single area. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started when it comes down to our physicals. So the first thing that I'm looking at right here is going to be our speed. This is going to be a 59 when it comes down to my acceleration 44. 81 for the strength, so we're definitely going to be able to play some solid defense. Now for my vertical, I'm going to go with the 70. And then my threshold for any build is going to be a stamina of a 90. Now if you want to go higher or drop this number you definitely can do so. I'm going to leave it at 90 and this is going to be set to go going into the build making. So when it comes down to my defensive rebound I'm going to bring this up to an 82. Now the offensive rebound is also going to get brought up. Put this to a 69 and then when it comes down to the rebounding that's going to be perfect. Now for the block this really comes down to how much you want to upgrade it, but I'm going to go with the 99, and that's going to allow us to get a few Hall of Fame badges. Now for the steal, I'm going to skip over that. Perimeter defense, 62, and then when it comes down to my interior defense, I'm going to bring this up to an 81. Now overall, just for the defensive end, without adding any extra badges, we're going to be able to maintain 25. Now a few of the main badges that I'm looking at is going to be Hall of Fame Anchor, also chase down artist and pogo stick now from there also we do get rebound chaser then another one that i would consider is going to be box out beast on gold and then out of tier one we do get challenger glove and interceptor now let's go ahead and move on to the next area which is going to be the playmaking like i said i want to create a 7-3 build that's still going to be able to dribble so max out that ball handle at a 66 Speed with the ball is going to be a 55, and then for the pass accuracy, I'm going to go with an 81, and that's going to bring us up to a total of 16 playmaking badges. Now, when it comes down to Tier 1, we get Special Delivery on Hall of Fame, Clamp Breaker as well. Now, for Tier 2, Bailout, Break Starter, and Vice Grip, and then for Tier 3, we're able to core out when it comes down to Unpluckable, and I think this setup for this build is going to be perfect. We have enough when it comes down to the defensive area, just enough for the playmaking, and this leaves a lot of room when it comes down to the shooting. So when it comes down to this area, I'm going to go with the mid-range shot of an 81. As for the three-pointer, I'm going to bring this up to a 90, and this right here alone is going to allow us to get the potential of a 99 three-pointer. Now for the mid-range, you can upgrade this or lower it to your own liking. At least we're able to get Midi Magician on Hall of Fame. Now for the free throw, you have to go with at least an 80 and above. Now for Tier 1, we do get Agent 3 on Gold, also Hall of Fame Amped, Space Creator as well, and then Mini Magician, if you want to get it on the Hall of Fame tier, you definitely can do that to change the numbers as well. Now out of Tier 3, I like the fact that we do get Corner Specialist on the highest tier. And then now for the finishing, this is going to be a pretty solid area as well. So leave the post control at 27, 
when it comes down to the standing dunk go with the 64. Now for the driving dunk this really comes down to your own liking and preference so if you want to go higher than what I'm showing you right now you definitely can do so but I'm going to put this to a 72, 77 for my driving layup and that's going to bring us up to a total of 10 finishing badges. Now a few things to consider on this build. We're going to be able to get a 99 plus block, interior defense, pass accuracy, mid range, three point shot as well as our free throw. Now that's all if you buy your own boost, activate your takeovers and I'm telling you right now we're going to get some pretty solid takeovers I don't want to spoil it for you just yet but as far as for the finishing badges you'll also be able to get bully on bronze if you do decide to throw extra badges into this area. Now once you get it on a core badge that's going to work out perfectly but as far as for the rest of this build 10 finishing badges, 24 shooting, 16 when it comes down to the playmaking with 25 defensive, giving us a total of 75 badges. Now if you grind out season 1, getting the extra badge upgrade, become a starter in my career, this build has the potential of 80 badges. Now for the takeovers, right here first we do get the sharp shooting, secondly we also do get the playmaking, and then finally we get the rim protecting. So that's how I got the numbers of getting the 99 plus stats, especially when it comes down to the inside on the defense. The block is going to be very important, but even more so when it comes down, if you want to be able to get an 80 plus ball handle, pick playmaking takeover for the second one. Now for the first one, I would go with limitless range just so that way it's easier to activate your playmaking takeover. But if you want to pick this one first, that's another option that you can go with. Now let's just say that you're happy by boost getting a 70 plus ball handle. You can even go with double defensive takeovers or limitless range first and then you can pick rim protecting. Now for my liking, I would go with first, the sharpshooting. Secondly, you gotta go with the playmaking and out of the rim protecting, I would consider paint intimidation over stuff blocks that's just my own liking but again either of these takeovers is going to be a great option to pick from now the one that i like from the playmaking is going to be team ratings boost now let's go ahead and check out that we made the build correctly together and if you followed along you're going to be getting these shades of porzingis joel Embiid, and sabanis and as y'all can see we have created the first ever and unique stretch five build with all of these stats the ability to dribble at 7-3 80 plus ball handle and you're able to break ankles now with that playmaking takeover this is really going to change this build up as far as when it comes down to the playmaking end but when it comes down to these badges a few of the finishing ones that i did add on was going to be fearless finisher on silver also get limitless takeoff pro touch and then from there we also do get slithery now when it comes down to tier 2 i'm happy that we're able to get at least posterizer on the bronze tier now going forward if you do add extra badges towards your finishing that's where you're able to unlock the tier 3 bully badge but for now i'm telling you you can core out any other badge to your own liking whether that's back down punisher on the silver tier or if you want to change it up, any of these badges is going to be a solid option. Now, when it comes down to the shooting, this is going to be one of the stronger areas of this build. We get Agent 3 on gold, also amped on Hall of Fame. Same thing when it comes down to Space Creator. And if you want to, you can even add extra badges toward this area. And that's going to allow you to get Mini Magician on Hall of Fame. Now, I didn't pick any Tier 2 badges because the main ones that I'm looking at were going to be Tier 3. Now, I did put on Core. Hall of Fame Corner Specialist, and then also Deadeye on Silver with Limitless Range. Now, if you want to go with a different badge layout, you can always change it to your own playstyle and liking. I'm just trying to lead y'all in the right direction, and if I'm doing that, that's perfectly okay. But let me know in the comments. What do y'all think about this build? Have you seen it made before previously? Have you seen it made a better way? And if you were to make any changes, what are you going to change about this build? Now overall for the shooting, you have a lot of different setups that you can go with. If you wanted to, you can definitely drop down Deadeye because this build is going to be 7-3. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Now for the playmaking, I'm happy that we get Clamp Breaker on Bronze. Hall of Fame Special Delivery and then Add Up Tier 2. Vice Grip on Silver, Break Starter on Bronze. Bailout on Silver as well. And then for Tier 3, I'm happy that we're able to core out on Unpluckable for Bronze. Now going forward on this build, you definitely got to be sure that you're picking the correct defensive takeovers. Not only that, but when it comes down to the defensive badges. So let's just go ahead and say you did pick one of the rim protecting takeovers. That's going to go hand in hand with picking some of these badges that we do have equipped. Now for tier 1, I think one of the best things about this area is that we're able to get challenger, glove, and interceptor all for 3 badges. Now when it comes down to tier 2, 
Gold, Box Out Beast is going to be essential with Hall of Fame Chase Down Artists. And then for Tier 3, Anchor and Pogo Stick are both on Hall of Fame. And these are really going to work solid together. Now for the Bronze match that I had to go with, was well, going to be Rebound Chaser. But this is pretty much what the build is going to be looking like overall. Now again, if you made it this far into the video... Comment down TG for thank God, and I most definitely got y'all with a response. But man, I appreciate y'all support. Thank you for making it this far. And again, man, if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. Drop a like, and let me know in the comments what y'all thought about today's video. I got a lot coming in store for y'all this year, so again, I just want you to know, I appreciate y'all, and with all that being said, I got one last thing to say, Rich, out.